Welcome back. Alfred, what do you think Tiff Macklem is looking for now? Because he has raised rates, you know, consistently. Um, it doesn't seem to have worked too much. And, um, and in fact, in some ways, inflation is contributing or the higher rates are contributing to more inflation, at least when you look at things like mortgage costs. So what do you think he's watching for? I think, you know, a lot of the uh, metrics such as uh, services, for example, um, on the services front, I think that's where a lot of the inflation has been a lot more resilient. So when you look at goods, I mean, goods inflation has come down significantly. I think headline inflation has come a long way as well. So, you know, when you look at um, inflation in terms of CPI, uh, we got the most recent CPI print by Canada, which came in at 3.4%. Uh, next week, we're going to get another CPI print. So I think headline has come down significantly. Uh, but I think in the services front, that's where it's been a little bit more sticky. So as I mentioned before, I think, you know, as a lot of people refinance, um, you know, their mortgage rates and, you know, mortgage payments, you know, we've heard in certain scenarios are going to double, if not triple in some cases. Uh, the first items that you're likely going to cut is a lot of those you know, discretion, discretionary service items. So things like, you know, as I mentioned before, travel or, you know, restaurants. Um, we're starting to see those numbers start to come off in the U.S. The U.S. recently, or just this morning, reported their CPI, and this is where the discretionary items have started to fall off. So hopefully, um, we're going to start to see that in Canada, and they think that's what they're going to be focused on. Do you think that they'll sit on the sidelines now for a while? I think it's going to be a lot more data dependent. I mean, you know, yeah, we did a lot of uh, aggressive rate hikes over the last year. Um, you know, as you mentioned, they've sat on the sidelines until, well, uh, you know, after the January meeting. I think that's the right policy. I mean, usually it takes 18 to 24 months for higher rates to work its way through the system. I mean, theoretically, that means, you know, the first rate hikes that we saw a year ago um, haven't really fully been baked into the economy. So I think, you know, taking this wait and see approach, um, I think, is the right idea. Um, you know, we've seen inflation headline uh, come down quite significantly. So um, I think waiting and seeing and taking a, an approach that's more data dependent, I think is the right approach at this time. Alfred, I want to get your thoughts on on something that, you know, I've been paying attention to and, and I tend to be quite vocal about is that, you know, you have you have fiscal policy and you have monetary policy to affect inflation as well as the economy. And, and I just feel like there's so much focus on monetary policy and, and a lot of the burden is on you know, the Bank of Canada or, say, the Federal Reserve. Do you think more could be done on the fiscal side? Um, potentially. I mean, you know, just in terms of the fiscal side, it seems like, you know, governments are more focused on uh, spending at the current time, which obviously is going to be a lot more inflationary. Uh, the Bank of Canada can only uh, affect monetary policy, obviously. So um, as a result of that, I think, you know, what has been done so far has been more focused on monetary policy. I think fiscal has been there to support um, the population in case we run into any kind of hardship. Um, but I think you know the focus obviously has been on monetary policy uh, so far. You know, just judging by headline inflation, it has been some uh, very effective, in my opinion. Okay, um, so let's talk about the markets then. Um, how have they been reacting to news like? this, you know, overall, it, it seems like it's been fairly resilient, but I want to get your thoughts and also whether it is pricing in some type of recession, even if it's a soft landing. Yeah, so far, I mean, you know, the markets have definitely, uh, it's been a very different story in 2022. Let's put it mm -hmm. that way. Um, mm -hmm. I think, you know, coming into the year, uh, the expectation was for the Fed and the Bank of Canada, you know, slow down in terms of its rate hikes, which we have seen. Uh, we saw, you know, as we mentioned, the Bank of Canada did take a pause after the January meeting. Uh, we saw the Fed do the same at its recent meeting as well. Um, so I think that's been great for markets. I think a more stable interest rate environment has definitely been good for uh, risk assets. Um, that's why we've been seeing, you know, a lot of the, you know, fixed income market has come back. The equity market has come back as well. But I think where we're going to see potential tailwinds is, you know, sectors like technology, for example, which, you know, obviously was hit pretty hard last year due to uh, interest rates going higher and long duration sectors like technology are obviously going to benefit in this type of environment where uh, interest rates are going to be a lot more stable, not to mention all the buzz around AI. Uh, that's going to be a potential tailwind for technology over the next three to six months, potentially. 
Yeah, that'll be very, it'll be very interesting. And I definitely want to uh, dive into a little bit more of your thoughts when it comes to sort of portfolio management and when, and where you, where you see some themes um, in terms of rate hikes, you don't see any, or sorry, cuts, you don't see anything soon. No, I don't think so. I mean, the market was initially pricing in some rate cuts at the end of the year, which um, I don't see how that could happen. I mean, unless we got a recession, um, I don't see rate cuts happening anytime soon. I mean, okay. the market is pricing in now uh, rate cuts after 2024. I think we're going to remain in an environment where interest rates are going to remain higher for a longer period of time. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll take another break. We'll be right back.